Dr. Yates, uh, in Chicago, we're just adding another dimension to what we do. Normally the artist, of course, punches graphs from the back very precisely. But what we did yesterday, we used the site making, made about 2,000 graphs in the front to the mid-scout. Now what's good about this is that Carlos had some hair here already, so you don't want to injure the hair. Now, every good hair transplant surgeon will, will of course, say they don't injure the hair, which that is so true. But with the artist, with the computer technology and the algorithms, it can see his pre-existing hair, skip over it, and still give us the calculated density we want. So come in with the camera, if you can. So you can see in this area, we did a calculated density that we want to plant at roughly 30 to 35 grass per square centimeter. <clears throat> so this is what it came out to be without interrupting or hitting any of his hair that's there previously. So what does that do? That should help with shock loss. It should help with just destroying his pre-existing hair in general to give us better results. We can control the angle of the sights. We can control the depth of the sights. We can control the directions. So a lot of people think, well, when we do the robot, you just put them in the, the robot and the robot just does its jazz and then, you know, we go off, you know, as they think everybody, all doctors play golf but in Chicago it's like negative two, but they think we go and play golf, but it's just the opposite. You're there the whole time adjusting everything, you know. This is your first hair transplant, so it's hard to really comment like, well, was it better than any other hair transplant? But you can see, and I know you just take my word for this, this is how it should look on the first day after a hair transplant. A hair transplant is a slow process. I always tell, take, tell people it takes years to lose the hair. So if you get back some hair in six to eight months, that's a pretty good deal. So what we would expect to see, the hair to start to grow in three to four months, by about nine months, he'd be at 90% of what we would expect to really see, nine or ten months. So Carlos, you just have to be patient till then. Does that sound okay with you? Sounds good to me. Okay, so I just want to let you tell, let you know about our new capability, site making, as well as getting the grass from the back. This is Dr. Yates in Chicago. Thank you.